In this tutorial, we will take a look at the Add Remove Software Applications utility available in the Applications menu as a way to add new software to your Ubuntu Linux system. Now, Ubuntu Linux, like most Linux distributions, use the idea of software repositories. That is, servers on the Internet where third-party and new software and additional software is available to download. Most Linux distributions use this model instead of users going out onto the Internet and going to a particular website for a piece of software and downloading it directly. It's all handled through the Linux distribution that the user is using. So, in Ubuntu Linux, there is a tool under Applications called Add Remove, which is a, a graphical tool to allow you to, to view and download some additional software applications. Now, not every piece of software available for Ubuntu Linux can be found in this tool. There is another tool that will be the subject of another tutorial that contains everything. But this tool is intended to be a very easy to use utility uh, to download the most popular pieces of software. Now, this tool has several components to take a look at. First of all, there is a search bar in the upper left-hand corner that where one can enter a search term to find a piece of software. To the right of that is a drop-down box that uh, can narrow the list of applications shown. Right now it's showing all available applications. One can instead choose to list just open source applications only, or just the supported Ubuntu applications, or any third-party applications that are not provided by Ubuntu, or to show all the installed applications, rather than applications that are available to install. Most of the time, one will want to keep it on all available applications. Now, in the right-hand side is a list of categories. These are subdivided categories of applications. Currently, all is highlighted, meaning all applications in all categories are now being shown on the right. But one can narrow the focus by just listing or just clicking on particular categories, in which case the list will narrow to just the applications in that category. Games, for example, will only show you games. Again, selecting all will show all applications. And uh, in the right-hand side, of course, is the list of the applications, and below that is a description of each application. Now, to install an application such as this Abbey Word word processor, what one does is simply click the box next to the Abbey Word word processor, and it will then become bolded to show that it's been highlighted, and click Apply down at the bottom. It will ask you to confirm that you want to install that particular application and click Apply again, at which point the application will usually prompt for the administrator password in order to process the installation. It will then download all the necessary packages, as they're called. Software is called packages in, uh, in the Linux parlance. And once these packages are installed, it will automatically, or excuse me, are downloaded, it will automatically install the applications on your system and add entries to the appropriate menus. As you can see, those packages are now being installed. The changes are being applied. And at any point, one can, can click the arrow to see a list, to see a, a detail a breakdown of what's going on, if one wants to see what's going on behind the scenes. The speed of the installation, of course, depends on the on the size of the applications that were downloaded, the, the number of applications that need to be installed, and of, and of course the, the, the system itself, whether it's a faster computer or a little bit slower computer, just all of that kind of depends. But this utility and this, this system, this way of installing uh, software is different than most folks are used to in Windows or uh, in the Macintosh operating system, you know, in which case most people just download software directly from various websites. In Linux, it's usually recommended to do everything through the distribution as we're doing here. Now that those changes are done, uh, we can click close and close that window. This utility will then refresh and check again once be what's been installed and what's available. Of course, now Abbey Word should be gone from the list of available applications because we've now installed it. And we'll check that here in, in just a moment. But uh, it's, it's sort of refreshing the list and accessing the Internet. Of course, in order to make good use of this uh, system, one needs to have a good connection to the Internet. And uh, broadband uh, Internet connections are generally recommended. 
and see it will now tell you that we've that they've added they've added a launcher in the menu uh, so we can click OK or cancel to exit out of that application and we'll go check in and uh, accessories and office and now we have an entry for the Abbey Word word processor, which is a very nice word processor, by the way. It's uh, it also has Microsoft Word compatibility, probably not as good as OpenOffice, but almost as good, and it's very lightweight. It doesn't have all the features that everybody needs all the time, but it probably has 90% of the features that are used by 90% of the users. So it's a uh, it's an excellent tool for just basic standard word processing where nothing fancy is needed. Uh, but that is a summary of how to install applications using the Add Remove Software Application Tool, and that is the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much.